Hello everyone, welcome to Momentos de Tecnología. In this opportunity, we're going to make a video about how you can um, expand your network and you make certain configurations and change of settings that are going to make your uh, networking a lot more productive. Mm, let's remember that for watching this video, you must have watched uh, the how to configure your first uh, Unify access point through the Windows controller. Okay, let's get our, let's get working. Right here, this was the last step that we saw when we configured our controller. Uh, it is like a summary of all the configurations of your network. After you click finish and you configured your first access point and it provisioned correctly, we're going to mm, connect another access point that is configured through uh, this type of network. We have a black cable that is connecting th uh, from the router we have the blue one through one access point and the red one to the other one. This one is an AC long range and the other one is an AC pro. We will proceed to open the Unify controller from the desktop. Mm, we're going to launch a web browser to manage our network, uh, to manage our controller. And we're going to grant access to the firewall in case it asks us. And we're going to mm, go to the main page of the controller. We're going to log in, remembering our username. Try to write this down in case you, uh, for you not to forget it. This one is our initial page. We're going to see one active access point connected to our network. We go to the devices page right here in the left, and we're going to see one access point that has already been adopted and it's connected, and another one that is pending adoption. This one is already connected. It's shown. It is being shown right here, and we can locate it in in, in case, for example, we have an array of uh, many access points. Uh, this could be a very useful tool. Uh, we could restart it from here, and of course, we're always going to be able to upgrade the firmware. Right here, we're going to cancel. Uh, we're going to restart the the access point, and it is going to provision again. It is not necessary for you to have the controller running in case you reboot the, the access point or in case there is an, a power outage. Right here we're going to rename our access point and we're going to save this setting. And we're going to name it uh, living room. This one is the version that it has, this one is the IP address and we're going to proceed to adopt this other access point that is already connected to our network. It says pending adoption because it has not been configured. Let's adopt it. It is going to take about 30 seconds to one minute, depending on the changes that you have made to the controller. Let's remember that every time you make any change in the network settings, it is going to provision your access points. Right here we see that the new access point has already been provisioned and it is active and connected. Uh, so we're going to proceed to name it we uh, just click on it, we go to configuration, we select the alias that we need uh, to give this access point and we save. We're going to go here to the map and we're going to configure uh, our settings. This one is the default map that uh, configure ha the, the controller has and it is very useful tool in case you want to change your network, plan an expansion, or just select how many or different devices are connecting to your to your access point. This is the way you can plan better. Then supposing that this one is our the schematics of our how of our home, we're going to select here from the and place devices and drag them on top of the map to where to where they belong. This one is very useful because this, this can let you watch graphically how you can expand your network like I said or select which device you're going to put where depending on the technology that the devices that, a, they, that are connecting to each one of them have for example if it is a 5G access point or if it is a 2G AP um, you can place it wherever you want and we're going to set right now the scale of the, of the map that we have right here so we go to the button scale, uh, a distance that we already know from our home. Right here we're going to select 60 feet and we're going to draw a line that measures 60 feet on top of your map. Set scale and this is going to help you very much when you're going to like uh, 
activate the heat coverage, uh, the heat map of the coverage of your access point. Right here you have the 2G coverage. 5G coverage may vary a little bit and it may be actually a little, uh, uh, a little less coverage for the 5G access point or the access point radio. Right here when we go to statistics it is going to show you very cool stuff about your connections and your access point on your network and in the dashboard you're going to see a lot of information in case you had a unified gateway uh, you're going to see the latency, the throughput and uh, the active devices that you have on your LAN. In clients you're going to see the clients that are connected to all your access point not only the access point that is active but all your access points you're going to see the activity the the, the downloaded data the the uploaded data and you're going to see the uptime of each one of those devices very cool and very interesting we're going to connect to the um, to the guest network that you that we configured on our last video and you're going to make a speed test let's connect let's authenticate and let's go to the speed um, the speed test app right here we see that we have actually active connection to the internet and let's make a speed test Of course, it, this depends on the technology of your of your mobile device. It depends, of course, on the distance from your access point to your device and the interference that may be on your area. Right here, we have an uh, optimal condition. Then we're going to make uh, small changes. We're going to make small changes in the network to see how you can uh, configure your networks and the access to resources. We're going to create a new ne uh, a new wireless network in settings, wireless network. Uh, you create the name, the SSID, you go to the authentication protocol that is going to be used. Remember that this changes a little bit in the last version of this controller which is already available in the Unify web page, in the UBNT web page. In the advanced options you can mm, make changes to that uh, WPA mode you can create a user group which we're going to f see in a few moments and the MAC filter you can also activate MAC filters for people to deny access to be denied access or for people to be granted access after that we save and we're going to see right here in the devices page what happens to the devices when you click save we're going to create a new user group uh, before we're going to name it kits we're going to limit the download rate and the upload rate to 5000 kb, uh, kbps um, let's go to the wireless networks and assign that uh, user group to this wireless network kits save and we're going to see that the device like i said it is going to start provisioning the information that you just gave something very useful in case you want to uh, control the bandwidth assigned to each one of the sectors of your house depending on the users let's reconnect to that um, to that uh, wireless access network let's make the test again and we see that it is limited to 5 megabit per second something very useful like I said ok guys thank you very much for having watched this video we hope you enjoyed it, you liked it and it was of a lot of help see you next time <laughs>